What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying another cool bluegill jig utilizing the squish chenille from Hairline. I really love this new chenille. It adds a really buggy appearance and the rubber fibers just give it a crazy good look. So for this jig, I want it to be small enough so that the fish can get it in their mouths, but not too small to where you only catch small fish. So I'm using a 1 64th ounce jig head with a size 8 hook. This is just a round head that I've pinched with pliers to make it flat for the eyes. I powder painted it with black and I put 3 millimeter yellow eyes on there. For the thread, I'm using a black UTC Ultra Thread 70 denier. We're just going to start that thread behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. For the tail, instead of marabou or any other feathers, I'm using rabbit zonkers. This is golden olive color. This will give the jig an incredible action. So I'm just going to take a little tuft of that and I'm going to straighten out the fibers and then we're going to measure them out so they'll be about the length of the hook. And I'm just going to tie it in right there, just right above the hide. Just going to tie it down tight so that it won't move around on us. Give it about 10 or 12 real good turns. Make sure it's straight. And then we're going to clip the hide off right there. Clipping it off right here will just reduce any excess bulk. The squish anneal itself has a bulky profile, so we're just going to reduce bulk where we can. So once we've clipped that hide off, we're just going to go over the end of those fibers. Just make sure they're tied down nice and tight. So like I said, for the body we're using a squish anneal. This is small badger UV olive color. So we're just going to take about a 3 inch strand of that and we're going to pull some of those rubber fibers off of the chenille so that it has just these little strands of string that you can tie in. We're going to tie those strands in at the head and then tie it down so that the chenille will start right where the tail is. So we're just going to tie those in real tight down to the tail. Once we've got that secured down there, we're going to bring our thread back up to the head and then we're going to add a little bit more thread just to even this out a bit since it is a little bulkier toward the back. Then we're going to end our thread at the head. And now we're going to start carefully wrapping the squish chenille up the body. Just do nice even turns, make sure to keep the chenille tight so that the body is not lumpy. And with each turn we want to pull the previous squish chenille fibers back just like this. And this will just show off as many of those fibers as we can. And since the chenille is so thick, we want to just end it right there at the head. Don't do any extra turns. We want to keep as many of those fibers as possible off the head, so we're just going to secure that down. Pull the squish chenille since it's flexible, and you can clip that off. And now we're going to whip finish. So just give it a five or six turn whip finish. Pull the thread tight and clip it off. So that is it. This is the finished jig. I really love this one. It's been producing some absolute slabs lately. I'll show you a picture of one at the end. But yeah, tie this one up for yourself. You can see that tail has incredible action. That's why I prefer it over Marabou for this jig. It just drives them crazy. They can't resist. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.